Hello students, I am V. L. N. Swarupini, lecturer in Sri Venkateswara College of Arts and Sciences, which is affiliated to Adhika Vinamaya University, Rajmundry. Now let's see about the topic, Nomenclature and Classification of Enzymes from the Unit 1 in the paper, Enzymology and Bioenergetics. Okay. From exam point of view, this topic can be asked like this. Define enzymes. Explain nomenclature and classification of enzymes. Okay. So, now let's get into the topic. Okay. Now, let's see what is the definition of enzymes. Enzymes are proteins which accelerate the rate of the variety of chemical reactions which occur in biological systems under thermodynamically unfavorable conditions. Okay. As we already know, enzymes means proteins. Okay. All enzymes are proteins. And these protein components which are used to increase the uh, reaction rate or the rate of reaction for different kinds of chemical reactions in biological systems at unfavorable conditions. That means these enzymes, they work in biological systems to increase the rate of reactions of different kinds of reactions. And these work at unfavorable conditions. Okay. And these enzymes are also called as biological catalysts. Why? Because these enzymes, they work in the biological systems. Okay, that's why we call them as biological catalysts. Okay, and the word enzyme for the first time was given by the scientist Kuhel in the year 1870. And these enzymes, uh, enzyme components, uh, they, uh, these are substances produced in the living organisms okay that means as this work in the biological systems these get uh, these are produced in the living organism itself and these act as catalyst for uh, the specific biochemical reaction which means as we already discussed enzymes are highly specific in nature particular enzyme work on suitable substrate so that's why these are uh, they bring specific biochemical reaction that means each enzyme is responsible for specific biochemical reaction all enzymes doesn't work on all kinds of reactions okay and in the early days uh, there is no proper name method for this enzymes okay and uh, naming system used to be like uh, based on the scientist who identified the enzyme. That enzyme used to be called after the uh, scientist who discovered that enzyme. Okay, like pepsin. Examples for this kind of uh, naming is pepsin, trypsin, chymotrypsin, pepine. These are the few examples. And Few enzymes are just uh, uh, just added by a suffix called ASEase, and this suffix is added to the substrate name. Okay, that means an enzyme which is acting on the substrate. That enzyme, uh, that substrate name is utilized, and for that substrate name, a suffix called ASEase is added. Example, let's uh, see this example. Any enzyme which acted on carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are one of the major biomolecules. And the uh, enzyme which act on these carbohydrates are called as carbohydrases. Okay, carbohydrases. Carbohydrates. So, substrate name is taken and Last at the end of the um, substrate name, a, uh, the suffix "ase" is added, and all the enzymes which act on the 
carbohydrates are collectively called as carbohydrates in the same manner proteins okay any enzyme of course it is a protein uh, biomolecule but even though it act on other protein components so if any enzyme act on proteins those are called as proteases that means enzyme act on the protein substrate is called as protease and all the enzymes collectively called as proteases and other kinds of uh, naming are like this see the enzymes which have specific uh, which involve in the specific reaction that a uh, kind of reaction based on the kind of reaction the enzymes are named okay here see examples hydrolysis okay hydrolysis are the enzymes that means suffix ac ac is commonly added to all the enzymes but the starting name it might be substrate name or it might be kind of reaction in which that particular enzyme is being involved okay this hydrolysis enzymes are the enzymes which uh, involve in the hydrolysis uh, reactions okay hydrolysis reactions means uh, in this, uh, this is a kind of reaction in which uh, breakdown of water molecule takes place okay uh, if any enzyme acts on this uh, remove a uh, breakdown of the water molecule those pa that, uh, that particular enzyme is called as hydrolase and uh, all the different kinds of enzymes which uh, act on hydrolysis uh, reaction are collectively called as hydrolases in the same manner which act on the oxidation reaction that means um, addition of O2 molecule oxidation means okay and or we can also uh, um, and this oxidation reaction on which a particular enzyme act is called as oxidases okay and one more other kind of uh, naming system is another naming system is uh, suffix is is added to the name of the end product or the substance which is produced after the enzyme catalysis uh, based on that name of the enzyme is decided okay for example see this fumarase fumarase is the enzyme uh, um, which acts on particular substance to form a uh, end product fumarate okay based on this uh, end product also enzymes are named so these are the um, uh, not properly um, there is no proper systematic uh, naming okay because and based on these kind of uh, namings we, we don't get any proper information or the complete information regarding the particular enzyme. Okay, that's why uh, in later uh, part of the year, uh, International Union of Biochemistry and the Enzyme Commission both uh, combinedly they submitted a report in the year 1964 to uh, for this nomenclature or the meaning of the enzymes okay and they by this they uh, brought a system for the nomen, uh, naming or the nomenclature in enzyme and each enzyme is assigned with four uh, letter code okay and here the four letter code uh, is separated with dots and uh, this is uh, the these four letter code is uh, consist of a, a prefix ec which means enzyme commission okay and these letters are also digits not 
um, any other uh, uh, alphabetical uh, letters. These are four digits are separated with dots, and this uh, these four letter uh, digits are consist of a prefix called EC, which is written in capital letters. And this represents the word enzyme conversion. And the first digit indicates the class. Okay, that means these enzymes are uh, classified into different classes. And each uh, for any enzyme, first digit indicates class. And second and third digits describe subclass. That means second digit uh, the, uh, this uh, indicates subclass and the third digit indicates sub subclass and the fourth digit indicates the substrate on which that particular enzyme is acting. Okay, so by this uh, system of nomenclature to enzymes, uh, by this enzyme commission name we can identify the information extra information about that particular enzymes that means um, to which class it belongs to which subclass it belongs or which substrate it acts everything can be easily identified uh, by seeing the name itself okay and these enzyme commission nomenclature is based on the forward reaction and the backward reaction catalysis that means here not only forward reactions are considered both forward reaction catalysis and backward reaction catalysis are considered in this enzyme commission nomenclature and uh, here see one example uh, even though we have the uh, we have developed this enzyme commission nomenclature we also use the tribal names that means commonly used names okay so here see lactose dehydrogenase is the name of an enzyme which is a tribal name and its enzyme commission name is lactose Lactose NAD plus oxidoreductase. Okay, and enzyme commission title is EC1.1.1. Here you, you can only see three digits uh, because this lactose dehydrogenase uh, substrate is not mentioned here. Okay, just uh, this is enough for you for your degree level. Just say you can just uh, go with this uh, three digit code, okay? And now let's see in detail what is uh, classification. That means how uh, this enzyme commission classified thus all kinds of enzymes into different classes, okay? And this enzyme commission. Uh, classified enzymes into six classes and the first class is oxidoreductases first class is oxidoreductases oxidoreductases and here uh, the enzymes which catalyze transfer of oxygen are uh, hydrogen or an electron to other component these uh, ox uh, reactions are uh, catalyzed by the enzymes and these enzymes are classified under oxidoreductases that means any enzyme which uh, which is catalyzing oxidation reduction reactions are called as oxidoreductases and these are classified in the first class of the uh, enzyme classification okay and for this class one subclass indicates the donor of the hydrogen or electron okay that means here transfer of oxygen or hydrogen or electron takes place and the transferred uh, 
molecules are donated by some other components okay these donor molecules are uh, i will to indicated in the second digit whereas in the third digit what happens is acceptor of the hydrogen or electron are indicated okay here to see the general reaction of the class 1 enzymes a h2 plus b gives rise to b h2 plus a that means here one hydrogen molecule is being transferred from the component a to component b which is resulting in the formation of b h2 plus a okay and here see in the sub class second digit is uh, the uh, second digit is the donor okay that means see in the second digit if we have one that means the donor of the hydrogen or electron molecule is alcohol group that means alcohol group trans uh, gives the hydrogen or electron molecule for the transfer of this uh, components okay and if we find subclass digit 2 here the donor of hydrogen and electron uh, molecules are aldehyde group okay that means 1.1 means oxido reductase and the donor is alcohol it is 1.2 it is uh, oxido reductase with aldehyde donor okay and next one will be sub sub class which uh, which is the third digit okay here the acceptor of the hydrogen or the electron are explained here if uh, one point one point one is there it indicates acceptor of the hydrogen and electron molecules will be nadp plus or nadp or nadp sorry nadp plus okay and if it is 1.1.2 then it is the acceptor is fe plus 3 molecule okay and see here example for oxido reductase is lactose dehydration is enzyme and this uh, one example of its reaction is it act on the uh, lactate to form pyruvate molecule and if you see here the uh, acceptor uh, acceptor components are nad h plus h plus okay so this is about oxido oxido reductase okay and the second class is transferase here transferase reactions are catalyzed by enzymes and these are uh, classified in class 2 okay and in a uh, transferase reactions means transfer of an atom or group between two components takes place okay and here transfer transferase reaction uh, means it doesn't uh, include oxido re uh, reductase or hydrolytic reactions hydrolytic reactions means these are the reactions in which uh, water molecules are involved oxido reductase means here um, transfer of uh, molecules takes place so don't get confused with this oxido reductase and transferases if you see the general reaction will get clarity here what happens in this oxido reductase uh, reactions transfer of any component say it is oxygen or hydrogen or other electron whatever it might be it gets transferred from a component to 
key component. Okay, that means it is first attached to the person A. For example, take person A has one hydrogen molecule and this hydrogen molecule was given to person B in this oxidation reduction reactions. Now let's see this transfers. Here what happens? Person A uh, con uh, contains one component that is X. Okay. And also uh, A contains one component. That means here A is also one person, X is also one person. A have a product called A minus, and X have a product called X plus. So, along with these two persons, one more person is also present that is B. And this B consists of a product called B minus. And here exchange of components takes place. Okay. That means this B minus is replaced with X plus which is present along with uh, person A. Okay. Here person A and person X are in a team. Okay. This uh, person X have a product called X, my, X plus and this is uh, exchanged with uh, person B of other team. Okay. And this component is replaced with B minus. That means it's not just giving uh, the product freely. It is also taking B minus in reverse. Okay. Here the exchange. Here the transfer. Okay. And example for class 2 is uh, hexokinase enzyme. It can uh, it acts on glucose to form glucose six phosphate. Okay, here the uh, okay uh, here you no need to write about the subclass or sub subclass. Just uh, for your uh, clarity, I explain subclass and sub subclass in the Oxford Reddit pages. Uh, <laughs> concept but there is no need to write in detail for your degree level okay just go with the class that is enough for you just understand what is uh, uh, the class related to uh, which type of reaction what is the general reaction and what is the example for this particular class okay and the next class is Class 3 hydrolases. Okay, that means here the involvement of water molecules takes place. Here, hydrolysis. Hydro means water molecule, lysis means breakdown. Here, breakdown of water molecule takes place. Okay, and the enzymes which catalyze the hydrolysis reactions. Uh, these enzymes act on a substrate for, uh, by splitting of water molecule uh, and they also leave a double bond after this reaction. Okay, here the general formula is E hyphen B plus H2O gives rise to AH plus BOH. That means here water molecule is split, split into one hydrogen molecule and one OH molecule and hydrogen molecule is taken by the person A or the component A and the OH molecule is taken by the component B. Okay, an example for this is alkali, alkaline phosphatase. See the reaction. Alkali phosphatase acts on the uh, inorganic phosphate along with water molecule to form a alkaline phosphate. Okay, here A's will not come. This is just alkaline phosphate. And here the enzyme acting upon it is alkali 
alkylene phosphase okay uh, that means uh, here uh, enzyme should be written alkylene phosphate and here this component is alkylene phosphate and the next class is lysis here the enzymes which catalyze the removal of the group from their substrate by using mechanism other than involvement of water molecule okay that means here water molecule involvement is not there but removal of the group from the substrate will take uh, will takes place okay here see component a consists of a product x and component b consists of a product y and they both interact with each other to form to remove the uh, special groups or the products x and y separately and this uh, substance a and b gets attached to each other here see the example fructose 16 bisphosphate here uh, this fructose 16 bisphosphate consists of two phosphate groups okay so these two phosphate groups are removed in the form of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxy acetone phosphate and here the enzyme acting upon this uh, substrate is aldolase so aldolase is a uh, it belongs to the class lysis and the next class is class 5 that is isomerases. In this isomerases, the enzymes which catalyze the interformation of isomers, that means here involvement of isomers is seen. And this uh, conversion is uh, seen as intramolecular rearrangement of atoms or groups, that means interconversion of isomers takes place by intramolecular rearrangement of atoms or groups okay uh, see the general formula a with x and b with y here what happens the ice uh, these two components are interconverted okay that means these two components are isomeric in nature and here intramolecular rearrangement of these atoms takes place. Example for this is glucose 6-phosphate that means phosphofructoisomerase is the enzyme which acts on the isomer, isomer glucose 6-phosphate and its isomer fructose 6-phosphate is produced by action of this phosphofructoisomerase. And the last class is ligases. Okay. And this ligases are the enzymes which catalyze the uh, linking together. These catalyze the linking together of two components by using energy breaking of ATP. That means here ATP molecule will be broke down to form ADP molecules. Okay. See this general reaction. Uh, component A and B are uh, linked together as A and B. And during the process, what happens? Your ATP molecule will be broke down. Okay, here example is L glutamine synthetase, L glutamine synthetase enzyme. And this uh, helps in the breakdown of ATP molecule. So, this is about nomenclature and classification of enzymes. Thank you, students.